His first book of short stories took us by storm. And with his debut novel, The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde, he won a Pulitzer Prize. Today, he's considered one of the most distinctive voices in contemporary fiction. Novelist Juno Diaz. I'm Maria Hinojosa. This is One on One. want to be like this kind of teacher of history to a new generation and you want them to to think critically i mean essentially not to forget right well i mean but also the i mean again as you got to know as i'm a fiction writer so a lot of the history isn't actually accurate you know it's not meant to be a history book in fact it's, it's our John Stewart form of history <laughs> well but even john stewart gets it right a lot of times you know, I mean, I get it right, too, but I think for me what's important, certainly that there's these ideas that I don't want people to forget, but there's also this notion that history is very, very plastic and that the same way that Trujillo used history, you know, Trujillo was basically like, hey, the Haitian community invaded us. Hey, the Spanish community did this and that. Hey, America thinks of us as basically stepchildren, ex-slaves. History can always be manipulated, and I think that the plasticity of history is not only something that needs to be recognized, but that I think is part of the reason that so many people don't really want to mess with history. You know, history seems like such a, you know, a knot of snakes, and certainly I want folks to be aware of, you know, what has happened both in the United States and in the Dominican Republic that has bears, at least in this last book, that bears strongly on the Dominican community. But I'm also like trying to argue that history is a tool like anything else and that people can use it for good, for bad, to put us to sleep, to wake us up. And that sometimes we never know how it's being used till it's often too late.